Cheeky Richos Preserved Beetroot and Beetroot Relish. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richos Beetroot Relish. We've got some beetroot here that have just come out of the garden. We're just going to cut the stems off because we're not going to be using those. Rinse and pop them into some boiling salted water to boil them. Okay, we've just scrubbed our beetroot with a brush. We haven't peeled it. We're going to cover it with some water, add some salt, cover it with some water, add some salt, and then boil it for about 40 minutes until it's tender. We've assembled the rest of our ingredients, which are brown sugar, curry powder, salt, and some freshly cracked pepper. This is our slice of onion for our relish, and we have some vinegar. Now we've just turned the heat off on our beetroot, and it's really quite tender. It's also made the water really quite pink, but you can see the knife goes in quite easily. And now we're going to slide those skins off those beetroot. So we're just going to discard this red water now and we're going to put some cold water in the pan to cool our beetroot so it's easy to manage. If you have some latex gloves, this would be a good time to drag those out because I'm going to end up with pink hands. This is not my kitchen and I actually don't have that equipment. But what we're going to do is just get the beetroot and as you can see, it just skin slides off very easily. By the end of this video, I'm going to have really quite pink hands. It's just one of the sacrifices I'll make for you guys. Let's slide those skins off, see it comes off quite easily. Don't let them dry out because the skin won't come off so readily. The colour is less likely to soak into your hands if your hands are wet while you're doing this. Pretty well what you should have. It's nice and shiny. Any little extra bits we'll cut off with an eye. Okay, back to our pan. We add our brown sugar, our spices which are salt, pepper and curry powder, finely sliced onion, and we're just going to, without adding anything else, just warm that to soften that onion and dissolve that sugar a little before we add our chopped beetroot and our vinegar. Now two things are going to happen. Firstly, our onion is going to slightly cook. That's three things actually. Our brown sugar is going to caramelize with the onions a little and our curry powder is going to intensify in flavor. Because the addition of heat is going to release all those aromatics in that curry powder. So just give it a light gentle stir. You don't want to cook this, you just want to get this sorted a little bit. As you can see, the salt has drawn some of the moisture out of that onion. It's really quite wet now and it's also dissolved the brown sugar. Turn it off now and pop the lid on and it can steam in the residual heat while we prepare our beetroot. Now just with wet hands, we're going to get some of our beetroot and slice it really quite finely and cut it into little cubes. It's very hot at the moment, so just be a bit careful. Wet your hands from time to time and hopefully that'll stop the redness from the beetroot from being absorbed by your skin. So we just want tiny little cubes here, probably 3 sixteenths or a third of a centimetre square little cubes. It's too hot to actually pick up and show you, but that's what you're looking at. Little red cubes. And continue with the rest. Okay, that's a really large pile of beetroot pieces for our beetroot relish. We've got one whole beetroot that I'm just going to slice and show you how we preserve that without it being in a relish. We're just going to slice it and have it like you'd have it on a hamburger. Okay, you can see our onions and spices that smell really quite nice have sweated down considerably, it's time to add our beetroot with a wet hand. Not to get that all wet, we're just going to slide it. Good idea to wear something old or red <laughs> when you're doing this. Okay, back over the heat, a low heat. We're just going to stir this all around so that our beetroot and onion sugar and spice mixture is all mixed up. And we're going to add some vinegar. We're just using brown vinegar, you could use apple cider, you could use any vinegar that you like. And we're going to put into a boil and cook that down until it's made a nice relishy consistency. Okay, now we're going to get our one remaining beetroot, which is massive, that's my hand, and we're just going to slice that that way. Beetroot actually has rings in it, and that will, sh I'll show you what the rings look like. So we're going to cut it. You see the rings there? They fold around like so, you see that? And we're going to pack it into a sterilized jar. These are still quite hot. Try and get it fairly even. The, the rings are a lot more obvious there. See the rings there? Can you see those rings? So like a chat oh, hot. Like a tree inside. And just follow it right through. We've got a sterilized jar here, and we're just going to pack our beetroot into the jar. Cover it with some vinegar, with some spices in it, salt and pepper. This is so hot. <laughs> still. Let's pack it in. 
Okay, we have some more spices for our sliced pickled beetroot. They are brown sugar, salt and pepper. We're going to add some white vinegar to that. Just a little, shake it all up to dissolve that sugar. And then we're going to pour it into our beetroot. We'll give that a shake to dissolve it all completely. Now, it's just into our beetroot. Until it'll seep down and it'll cover the beetroot and preserve it. Okay, our beetroot has been cooking. The vinegar has sweated down and that's what it looks like. If you like it a little less chunky than that, just get a potato masher and squash it down. I'm also fold this through yogurt to make tzatziki. So we're just going to fill up a sterilized jar with it. Try not to make too much mess. And we're going to store this in the fridge. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richo's beetroot relish and preserved beetroot. We've got a couple of beetroot recipes. We've got our roasted baby beets and we've also got boar. If you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. Serve some into a little serving bowl. Cheeky Richo's beetroot relish. Cheeky Richo's beetroot. We've got the beetroot relish, the sliced pickled beetroot and then just the boiled beetroot. Have a little taste, shall we? colours and that. Really economical if you can get hold of beetroot from your own garden. That's delightful. And there's a serving suggestion for our Cheeky Richo preserved beetroot and beetroot relish. Thanks for watching.